I told that old hag of yours to stay away from my wedding coming up soon. So can you make sure to tell her as well for me? Tell her that she will not be allowed into the wedding on the day of and that she needs to stay away from us so as not to cause any trouble. <laughs> what? When you say that old hag of mine, who are you talking about? I'm talking about your mom being the old hag, and you should have known what I meant. <laughs> Having her walk into my wedding all by herself with no partner walking beside her is just sad. So tell her to stay away. Simple as that. You are her daughter after all, so you should be fine with asking that of her for me. Um, Sandy? I'm sorry, but I have zero clue what you're talking about right now. Are you really telling me that you don't want my mom coming to my brother and your wedding? I am telling you that. I shouldn't even have to be telling you this sort of stuff right now. You should already know that someone like her coming into my wedding would ruin the whole mood. No, I don't know any good reason why her coming to your wedding would ruin the mood. <laughs> why not? Being raised by a single mother is freaking embarrassing, right? And having her waltz into my wedding with nobody as her partner is so sad that I cannot allow it to happen when I'm about to show everyone my happiness. So tell her to stay away, please. Even your brother is embarrassed by her, so I'd like to keep her from coming in and ruining the whole wedding by making him and I beat red with anger and embarrassment. Just think about it with a level head and you can see why I'm asking this from you. <laughs> why are you saying things like that? I actually respect my mom a lot for having to raise her kids all on her own. And the way you're talking about her so cruelly right now is making me a bit upset, so please stop that. I feel bad for my mom right now hearing things like this about her from you. What? Are you an idiot as well then? <laughs> Excuse me? You just have to put a little thought into it and you'd understand what I'm saying. If your mom comes to my wedding, she's going to ruin everybody's time. And if she begins to piss me off coming in as a single and depressing mother like that, then what do you think will happen to my wedding? Well, stop trying to think that just by having my mom at your wedding, she'd ruin everyone's mood and end your wedding. If she ends up coming in and giving the wedding a rotten atmosphere, your brother is going to be just as upset as I will be. Are you telling me that you want both me and your brother to be upset and embarrassed on our very special day? Does this mean that my brother is 100% on board with having my mom stay away from the wedding? Him and I are a married couple now. Anything I say about the two of us automatically makes him on board with it. Well, if that's what you think, then fine. But I highly doubt that he'd be okay with what you're saying about our mom right now. Both he and I think highly of our mom and would never want to do anything to disrespect her. You are the least helpful little sister. Well, whatever, I guess. We'll handle your mom on our own, then. And how are you going to handle my mom, then? Don't you dare go telling your brother anything about this, okay? And if you don't want our wedding to end up going up in flames, then you stay out of what happens next between us and your mom. Well, now you're starting to get me worried about what you're planning on doing. I don't plan to say anything necessarily to my brother about this, but you're not going to do anything unwarranted to my mom, right? We are getting very close to our long-awaited wedding and are both very nervous as well as excited for the day. So I ask you to please stay quiet about what I said. Allow your brother and I to have our moment in peace without getting in the way. I still am a bit lost on what's all going on here with you, but... I have no plans of getting in the way of your wedding. But can you make sure to talk all of this through with my brother as well before you ask to have my mom stay away from your wedding? Mom, have you gotten any messages from Sandy recently? Well, she told me not to come to her wedding a little while ago. So she actually did go ahead and tell you all of that straight then. I can't believe her. Well, you don't really have to worry about what she said to you, okay? I really do think that there's no way on earth that Kai would allow you to be told to stay away from his wedding with no good reasoning. Well, I hope you're right. Huh? Why do you say it like that? Well, I'm just saying that what Sandy has said about Kai agreeing with her m might be correct. I'm sure to him he has no real use for me anymore as his mother. And if anything, I'm just an embarrassment to him now. 
Why are you saying all that stuff about yourself and him? There's just no way that he'd think of you that way now. Well, I heard all of this from Kai himself. What? You heard this from Kai himself? He told me that after what he's been told by Sandy, it's probably best that I really don't come to their wedding. And then after that, he ended our conversation by telling me to just not come. And ever since then, I haven't heard anything from him. No matter how many times I try to call and text him. What the heck? Uh, what is wrong with Kai? Does he not see how rude he's being to you right now? I'll go and talk with him then. Please stop trying to talk any sense into those two for me, okay? Why should I stop trying, though? There has to be something going on between Kai and Sandy that we don't know about, because there is just no way he'd actually mean something as cruel as that. I bet you she's trying to brainwash him right now, and that his response to you wasn't his own. And I'm sure that there's some reason for Kai telling me not to come, but we can't go around trying to force ourselves into those two's decision. I will at least go out and try to help them prepare tomorrow, but if they really do not want me coming to the wedding or having anything to do with it, then I'm going to stop. It's my job as his mom to let him decide who comes and who doesn't come to his wedding. All right, then. How about the both of us go tomorrow, then, to help them prepare? I want the both of us to hear the real reasoning behind their decision for having you stay away. Hey! Why did you and your mom come here? I thought I made myself very clear when I said that I didn't want your mom coming to my wedding. What the hell are you thinking coming into this place with your mom? Well, I'm having a hard time believing that you actually had the nerve to tell my mom to stay away from this wedding. Well, even if you've come here today, it's not going to help your guys' situation any. Huh. Your brother and I didn't prepare a seat for your mom here. <laughs> huh? You actually overlooked preparing a seat for my mom? For Kai's mom? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> and why would I have? I told you that she wasn't allowed in here, yet she chose to come anyway with you. <laughs> Even if you're my brother's fiancé, this is going way too far. Allow us to talk to him right now about all of this. Right now, Kai is busy talking with other people at the moment and doesn't have time to waste with the two of you. That's the whole reason I'm being considerate of him and I'm giving up my time to handle his family ordeal. As I had said to you and your mom before, there is no seating for her. I'm going to have your mom kicked out of this wedding right now. <laughs> you are the worst, Sandy. Saying things like that about my mom. <laughs> I'm in the right to be saying all of this about her. <laughs> Having to be raised in a single parent household is one of the most embarrassing things to happen to someone. And I don't want him to feel that embarrassment today. <laughs> all your mom is doing by being here is causing problems and I want her to go home. Then the whole family is going to go home. Huh? I've had enough of this from you. My mom is done dealing with you, and so the two of us are going to do as you say and leave this wedding right now. Huh? Hold on a second, Amber. Did I ever say that I want you going home from this wedding as well? You don't have to say anything like that to me, because saying something like that to my amazing mom is enough to make me want to go. So if you still want her to leave this place, then I'm going to join her and see her home. And right now, we are talking with other members of the family about this, as well as friends. Even my brother is saying that he's ready to go now after what you've said to my mom. Huh? What the hell are you talking about when you say your brother says he will go home? Do you have any other brothers besides Kai that I've never been told about? I do not. I only have one brother, and that would be Kai. And Kai is the one saying that he'll come home with us. The way you've been acting around us and speaking for him has been way too much for him to accept. Now, you wait just a second. What are you actually saying right now? What? Are you telling me that you told Kai about all of this? That has to be a load of crap, right? I specifically told you to not tell him anything about this and that I'd handle things between us. Well, I was finally able to talk with him in person, face to face. And when we started to talk to one another, I made sure to show him all the things you've been saying to our mom and I about not wanting her here. Huh? You're showing our conversations to other people without asking for my permission first. What the hell happened to there being something called privacy in this world? And what happened to the privacy that my brother deserves to have from you? Huh? You ended up taking his phone from him on multiple occasions and typing all sorts of replies to my mom using his phone. 
making her think that she was talking to him when it was really you. And in the end, you were the one that blocked her on his phone, right? Um, I'm not really sure what you're talking about right now, but... Huh. Come on now, Sandy. This is not the time to be laughing about that. You have very much shocked my brother with the way you've acted. And so what? Why the hell did you tell all of this to Kai now? I swear, I told you very clearly to not get in the way of your brother and my happiness, and that includes this wedding today. You think I was actually going to listen to you after what you said to me about not wanting my mom at her son's wedding? Huh? The way you've been acting around everyone has been completely screwed up, and my brother needed to know about what you were doing. And right now, he's in complete shock over what you've done. Huh? What are you trying to say I did that would surprise him so much? What did you actually say to my man that would make him start to doubt me? Why, Amber? Why would you do all this useless crap on the most important day of Kai's in my life? This is all happening because of how you played your cards, Sandy. You kept thinking that you had the right to talk horribly about my mom and say that she was causing the two of you embarrassment. But it's because of my mom that you were able to meet such an amazing man as Kai. Because she worked her butt off for us, making sure we turned out as good people. What the hell does it matter to you that we have no father? You have no right to talk about my family like you have been, Sandy. Even if you have a problem with her being a single mother, my brother and I are both so thankful that we were raised by someone as warm-hearted and thoughtful as her. Who gives a crap about all of that? Right now, things are going downhill for me. If I'm not able to have this wedding with Kai today, what am I going to do? Where the hell has he run off to right now? Do you even have the ability to listen to what I say to you? I said just a second ago that not only my mom and I, but also Kai have all given up on you and are done here. What do you mean given up on me and are done here, though? I'm saying that we cannot forgive you for the way you've talked to us and the way you've acted around Kai. And it seems that he feels the same way and doesn't want to deal with you as his partner anymore. H hold on. I just heard that Kai is telling everyone here that the wedding is canceled and to pack things up to head home. That has to be a sick joke or something, right? No, you know very well that he is not the kind of person to joke about something like that. Especially when he was so happy to get married today. If he's going around telling everyone that right now, then it's truly happening. But him and I really did plan on having our wedding today, Amber. I know that. And everyone else expected you both to have a wedding today as well. But if all your family and friends, as well as the groom, leave the wedding, then there's no way you can carry on with it, right? <laughs> Unless you're going to have a one-man wedding today. Why the hell would you say something like that now? How would I ever be able to have a wedding by myself? Why is all this happening to me now? This is all your fault, you, you, you jerk! Huh? This is all my fault now? <laughs> Why would any of this be because of me, Sandy? I told you to stay out of all of this and not to get in the way of anything regarding my wedding with Kai today. But since you went ahead and opened your mouth to your brother about what's going on, this all happened. I never actually thought you'd be stupid enough to tell Kai about what I'd said and done. Huh? You still have no clue what's going on here then? What do I have no clue about, Amber? The only thing everyone thought could never happen is the way you acted towards me and my family. You literally took my brother's phone from him without asking and blocked my mom's number on there so that she couldn't try and talk to him anymore. Is that something normal people do to their in-laws? Well, when you say it like that, you make it seem like I have done something wrong. That's because you have done something wrong. <laughs> Plenty of things, actually. I myself am having a very hard time understanding why, after all that's happened, you're still having a hard time understanding why you've been in the wrong. Tell me, why have you done all of this to my mom and want to kick her out of the wedding? Well, that's because I just don't want her to be here today and so I want her gone! Well, that's not giving us a clear reason, though. I want to know why you don't want her here and want her to go home. If your reason for all that is because she's a single mother, then maybe you shouldn't be marrying my brother in the first place. What kind of balls do you have to think that using that as a reason would be a good idea? Well, listen, if your mom is single and can't find another man to marry, then in the future, Kai and I will have to take care of her when she's old and useless. And since he's the oldest, 
You won't have to worry about your mom and all the responsibilities surrounding her will fall on us, right? So I've been trying my hardest to have the two of us cut ties with her sooner rather than later. I just assumed that by forcing her to not come to this wedding, that'd be enough to end things between us. So your reason for all of this is due to your overbearing selfishness? Well, if that's it, then I guess there's no helping you now. <laughs> you can talk the rest of this through with my brother. Wait a second, Amber. If you don't stick around and help me, then my wedding is going to fall apart and I'll lose Kai. You and I, we're supposed to become sisters, right? Let's you and I grow close to one another and fix all of this. After what's happened to me today, I'll even forget about what I thought regarding your mom and allow her to come watch her son and I get married. And then after that, we can all become one big family, right? After all you've done to us, you expect something like that to work out for you? <laughs> no matter how you try and spin things now, we are never going to be your family. Please do not say things like that right now. You're the only person that can help me right now in getting your brother to come back to me. Right. How about you go ahead and tell him to come back to me, and then after that we can forget any of this ever happened. How about this, Sandy? How about you just forget about there ever being a chance of you becoming my brother's wife? And then we can end all of this right now. <laughs> I'm so glad you went crazy just before the wedding, so that we could all see your true colors before the knot was really tied. If you and him really did get married today, then my family's future would have been in real danger. I'm really relieved to see that I won't become your sister-in-law after all. You must really be in a corner right now thinking we can all forget about what you've done. Especially after what you did to my mom. You really don't have to say things like that right now, Amber. I believe it was you that really didn't have to say all of the things you said to my family before, but you did anyway. So what happens to you next has nothing to do with me, okay? You can go right along and talk with my brother about that and see where you'll end up. I'm not even able to get a response from your mom now. I wonder if I can get any of them to come back here. I'm sure if they just listened to my reasoning behind all of this, they, they'd understand me. The only reason for all this was you trying to save yourself from having to care for my family in the future. Well, look at that. You won't have to worry about us anymore because none of us plan to talk with you anymore. But your mom is supposed to be a really kind person, right? She would never say goodbye to me forever over a simple mess up like this, right? Well, my mom's saying that she could never see you becoming a part of her family after what happened today. <laughs> she said that? That considerate mom would say something like that about me? Well, weren't you the one that had planned on throwing her away the moment you married my brother? Oh, well, I guess. Seems like you're going to be the one getting thrown away now after everyone came around to understand your true intentions. <laughs> My sincere condolences, Sandy. Really sucks that you were never able to have your special day today. But you are like the devil, so there was no reason for you to have a special day in the first place. <laughs> Good luck with the next man you plan on roping in. Hopefully he has both a mom and a dad that he was raised by, so you don't have to go through a day like today ever again. <laughs> in the end, the wedding that had been planned for that day was cancelled almost immediately. And of course, the legal marriage that Sandy and Kai had with one another ended up going up in flames. And because of the embarrassment they were forced to endure regarding this event, both of Sandy's parents ended up leaving her to fend for herself and would later cut ties with her. Sandy was then left to pay all the cancellation fees for the wedding, as well as a settlement for what she'd done to Kai's mom. But because she didn't have the money for all of that, she tried to get Amber's help again. However, this time, Amber wasn't going to have any more of Sandy and blocked her within seconds, so that she'd never have to hear or see a word from her again. It really seems fair that after all Sandy had done to Kai's mother and sister, she'd end up with no wedding, no husband, and no parents. She did say she went through all that in order to not have to deal with a single mother-in-law in the future, but nobody's even sure if that was the true reasoning or if this was all done due to Sandy just being a crazy woman.